varlet! Don't you dare attach that foot to my ankles! This is Cadwell's longest episode yet. Perhaps I can... That's it! Time to give you knaves what for! Bizarre visions. Dismembered bodies. I hate necromancy. Cadwell trusts you, Five Claw. You talk to him. Who's there? Speak up! I'm about to teach these rapscallions a valuable lesson. And yes, I plan to make it hurt. Ah, jolly good. I could use a noble squire for the battle ahead. To battle Ahem? Anyway, uh, Zumok Foon has gathered the dismembered parts of the betrayer's body. I can't allow the necromancer to put him, me, back together. I'm not entirely certain. It's definitely a dark, menacing cavern. Just the sort of place necromancers enjoy hanging around. Oh! Here now! Stop that! Uh, your pardon, noble squire, but I have to go kick myself in the head. I'm off to put a stop to these dastardly villains! Tarn, can you determine where Cadwell disappeared to? Of all the foolish, idiotic, misguided things that Cadwell has ever done, this may be the worst of them all. He fancies himself a hero, but he's given Zumog Foom exactly what he needed. I'm no expert on necromancy, but it's obvious that our Cadwell is the last piece Zumog Foom needs to restore the Betrayer. He has all the parts of Cadwell's dismembered body, and now Cadwell has handed him the final component, his very essence. Does a soul shriven have a soul? I have no idea how the philosophy of oblivion accounts for such things, but there must be some kernel of the original Cadwell inside the one we know. It stands to reason the necromancer would need that as well. I managed to scry Cadwell's portal before it winked out. It connected to an ancient crypt in the Scar, not far from the Stitches. Head there immediately. The rest of us will make preparations and join you as soon as we can.
will suffer no interruptions. Gardna, before I! You took your time. Let's talk. The travel never used to take this much out of me. Oh well. Now that you're here, we can begin our investigation of the crypt. The adept and the prefect volunteered to scout ahead. They haven't returned. That means it's up to us. We must stop Zumog Foom from reanimating Cadwell the Betrayer. Something has prevented them from returning. I can only assume the necromancers or their undead have done them in. Where they were forestalled, we must prevail. Otherwise, Zumog Foom and the dragons get one step closer to fulfilling their plans. Cadwell, what happened to you? Thorn Hill Sports, they ripped it up. I'm afraid I bungled this one royally, old friend. I opened a portal, meant to put the villainous Zumog Foom to the sword. He got the better in it. The necromancer stole my essence. Fly to assorted ritual sites throughout the lair. Now I'm weak and my old body is being restored. The big 
cat and the Imperial. They arrived shortly after I did, but they didn't fare much better. I'm not sure what Zumok Film did with them. I've just been standing here trying to recover enough strength to give it another go. Charge me up again? Capital idea, and I agree. We can't let the betrayer join the dragons. <clears throat> that reminds me of a time... No, no. Can't think. Too weak. I'll stand with you as long as I can. Could use a bit of a lie there, no? I'll delay Zumok Fum's ritual as long as I can. You take Cadwell and see if you can recover his stolen energy. Ah, good old man. You left us to die, Kalo. Our blood is on your hands. No! I won't allow you to interfere with the ritual! this ritual together. <sighs> oh, refreshing. Let's find the rest of me and put it back where it belongs. You were never strong enough, Zamarak. I died because you were weak. Praying to the moons won't save you, cat. Interlope. Just more fuel for the ritual. I missed you so. You're a senile old fool, half brother. How could you be so reckless? The dragons are your fault. Your hat will destroy you, Avatar. No, 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 wait, no, that bit belongs to Amna.
Five claw. This one doesn't have much time. Malado should not be here. This one should be prowling the sand behind the stars and preparing for the next pounce, not lingering in this fetid tomb. Zumog Fung called Nalado back. He planned to use her in a foul ritual, but dead or no, Nalado is still a soldier. His follower never stood a chance. This one sensed... something. Decided to wait here a little longer. Nalado thought the cloud of energy reminded her of the strange knight adorned in cookware. This one thinks she absorbed the energy when she killed the necromancer and disrupted this part of the ritual. Return it? Perhaps? Though that will certainly shred this spirit form. No matter. Nalado no longer belongs in this realm. Tell Queen Carmira and Garashri that Nalado says farewell. Now, prepare yourself, strange knight. This belongs to you.
I always heard that introspection could be difficult, but meeting yourself. Uh, no one likes to discover that they were a tallow catch. Try not to hold it against me. Him and me were two sides of a, of a dented coin. I don't think the world can handle more than one Cadwell at a time. My essence, I feel it draining away. Strange as the end approaches, so does clarity. You will try to stop him for me, won't you? Finish what he, what I started a long, long time ago. I, I remember how we stopped the dragons. Kunzari and I, we tricked Count Gronti, used his own ambition against him, convinced him to place a portion of his power in Jode's core. Count Grunty ordered his brothers to follow suit. Once weakened, we were able to trap them in the halls of Colossus. Then the betrayer, uh, then I, I killed Kunzari. I earned that name. I planned to steal the power, but an equinus adepts I'm still here. Kamira. She looks like an equida. So pretty. An equida possessed a key to a special place. That's where I learned to use portal. Luckily, they cut off my head and dismembered me before I could reach Joe's core. I guess you have to chop the him up again. Tell Kamira she has the key and look out to the heart. was a moon priest. Could that be the key to using the dragon horn? The same notion occurred to me, Queen Chimera. Wait, here comes Tarn and the others. Five Claw, talk to me. I am happy to see you and the others, Five Claw, and I'm eager to hear what happened. Wait, where is Cadwell? Hrm, that does not bode well. The betrayer of Kunzari was a great hero who became a terrible villain. It took all the remaining champions and the moon priests of Anequina to stop him. But how does the betrayer's return help the dragons? A special place? That does not give us a lot of information to go on, Five Claw. Did Cadwell tell you anything else before he disappeared? The ancient legends. I have been studying them. They mention Jode's core, a vault of some kind. Kunzari tricked the demons into storing their power there, though now we know that the demons were dragons. A metaphor, yes? As for a key... Everyone, 
Meet in the royal study. I have something to show you. Cadwell spoke of Anequina, one of Kunzari's champions. He mentioned a key. I think he meant my pendant. Zamarak remembers. Your mother wore it before you. Does it have more than sentimental significance? It hides me from magical detection. Mother would take my pendant in her hand and whisper, When Kunzari smiled, Aniquina asked the moons to move for him. The Shadow Dance Temple ruins? Is that where the betrayer has gone? I discovered as a young girl that the pendant and this ancient map interact in interesting ways. I learned the stories of Kunzari from my mother. Did I tell you she was a moon singer before she married my father? She said the pendant once belonged to Anequina. I am related to Anequina, direct descendant, according to the Moon Priests. An ancient ruin. The place was once the Shadow Dance Temple, but now it is nothing but tumbled stones. Still, Cadwell indicated the pendant was the key to finding the betrayer. What else do we have to go on? Yes, from Kunzari's story. He tricked the demons into giving him their power. Then Anequina moved the moon so he could store the power in Jode's core for safekeeping. Of course, now we know the demons of the story were actually the dragons. In their weakened state, Kunzari was able to trick the dragons and trap them in the halls of Colossus. But one of his companions betrayed him, stabbed him in the back, and went to the place of the Dark Dance to steal the demon power. I think you're right, Five Claw. The betrayer must want to finish what he started in the ancient time. But the dragons also want that power. Are they working together? Either way, we need to get to the temple ruins. As we saw on the map, the ruins lie in the foothills east of the Scar, between Orcrest and the town of Hakoshe. We will meet you there.
Kamira's waiting for you inside. If the dragon circling overhead spots us, I'll try to drive it off. Zamarak will assist. Yes, I'm sure your fists will make all the difference. to this ancient temple. I do not see a way to access it. This is the right place. I can sense it. But nothing in this chamber looks like it can make the moons move or open a path to Joan or Jod. What are we missing, Five Claw? And Riddlethar knows I have tried everything I can think of. I held it out, I presented it forcefully, I even shook it vigorously, but nothing happened. Ah, I do not know what else to do. My memories and the Kunzari stories, everything jumbles together. Ah, too much research has crowded my mind. Wait, maybe... I remember one thing Mother used to say. Maybe if I repeat her words while I hold the pendant. When Anequina's blood calls, the Shadow Dance begins. By the moons, you opened the path. You go ahead. Zamorak and I will deal with the dragon outside. Somehow. Moons, watch over you. Come, Five Claw. Let us see where this leads. This hidden for so long. This place has guardians, it seems, but they could not stop the betrayer. He came this way. That relic. See what you can make of it. The spirits awaken. The temple recognized me. I... I am becoming attuned.
doing this? I want what comes out of me the way I need to Fools to reach in the few. Cats must die along the way. What of it? You're... you're insane. You told me you're a new god. Activate it for me, Five Claw. The Temple Relic, Five Claw. Activate it so the process of attunement can continue. The Temple showed us the ancient past. After the betrayer killed Kudzari and came to this holy place, he killed the Moon Priest to force his attunement. The voices of Joan and Jod grow dim. Activate the relic now, please. I need to do this properly. When Anequina performed her attunement, Kunzari accompanied her and activated the relics. The temple identifies me as Anequina, so you must be Kunzari. Somewhere ahead of us, on his way to the temple sanctuary to make the moons move. I need to finish my attunement before we face him. So, please, Five Claw, let us get on with it. is an eclipse. That opens the way to Jode's core. It's almost a shame how inequitous faithful keep throwing themselves at my blade. Almost. to reach the temple sanctuary. Wait, my friend. Let us talk before we confront the betrayer. The ancient memories become clearer in my mind with every passing moment. We follow the same path as the heroes of legend. Kunzari, Anequina, the Betrayer, they all walked these steps to reach Jode's core. I see the truth of the myths and legends. Kunzari tricked Calcrontid into storing the might of the dragons in Jode's core. 
Then, the heroes of the Krajun lured them into the halls of Colossus and sealed the doors. Yes, he murdered Kunzari and then came to this temple to gain the power to move the moons and open the way to Jode's core. You see, the path only appears at the moon gate of Anequina when the moons are aligned, as in an eclipse. True, but many died before they lopped off his head. The betrayer was the greatest warrior of his day. If it comes to a battle, it will not be an easy one. There is an apparatus in the sanctuary, linked to the larger moon gate. That is what we seek. We are about to enter the place where the betrayer faced his greatest failure. Where he died at the hands of the remaining heroes and moon priests. We must make sure history repeats itself. The shade of Anequina darkens with rage whenever I think about him. Even before his betrayal, she detested the man. He was vain, proud, a great sword fighter, but full of ego and hubris. Perhaps that is his weakness. His pride! Betrayer did something to the apparatus. The moons cannot hear my plea. No. The betrayer has set the moons in motion, and they will not answer to my song. There is nothing to stop the dragons from using the moon gate of Anequina to reach Jode's core. Not yet. This apparatus moves the moons, but the moon gate of Anequina creates the portal to Jode's core. Luckily, I sent forces there to defend it from the dragons. We will join them. But first, the memories tell me we have one more task here. 
An Equina's memories show me how she once used a dragon horn. The combat dragon horn you gave me. It needs to be energized, have its power restored. Activate the nearby temple relic, and I will charge the dragon horn. returned as soon as I could to help you give the betrayer a good threat. I feel tip-top, I must say. I thought it was the cozy confines of my beloved Cold Harbor, but I suppose it has more to do with the destruction of my other half. Well, good show. The world is saved. That doesn't sound good. Let me think. If I concentrate, I can recall what was going through my despicable other self's mind. He wanted to make sure no one could stop the path from opening. He promised the dragons. I'm afraid not, at least not from here. He did something to the apparatus. It can't be used again. Kamira might be able to separate the moons, but she'd need to do it at the moon gate. She looks a little peaked, though, doesn't she? I am all right. Cadwell, can we use your portal to return to Riman? Of course, Kamira. It's ready. Eclipse approaches, and with it the opening of the Moon Gate of Anequina. We have a short amount of time before the way to Jode's core appears. At least I am attuned, and I was able to charge the Dragonhorn. Gareshri has already gone to the Moon Gate of Anequina to take charge of the forces there. We will join him shortly. Thank you for helping with my attunement, Five Claw. With you and my ancestors beside me, we will find a way to stop the dragons. The eclipse approaches. Garrett, we stopped the betrayer, but not before he set the moons in motion. Soon they will align. When the eclipse occurs, the moon gate of Anequina will open and grant access to Jode's core, which is exactly what the dragons desire. Some, but not a lot. Luckily, we anticipated the connection to the Moon Gate and sent Garish Ri ahead with whatever forces we could spare, which was not as much as I would like. I just wish we had something else to fall back on. The combat Dragonhorn is charged, but we still do not know its full capabilities. We must not waste its energy, so we will save it until absolutely necessary. We should make our way to the Moon Gate now. Tell our companions, it is time. Our companions left the palace to wander Riman and consider what is to come. Find Abner Tarn, Zamarak, and Prefect Kalo. Cadwell too, if he is still around. I would like them to join us at the Moon Gate, but we'll understand if they decide not to.
The ancient structure rises out of the jungle far to the southwest. To think, a place known primarily as a pilgrimage stop and historical curiosity may turn out to be the site of elsewhere's most crucial battle yet. The moon gates are among the oldest ruins in elsewhere. Of the few sites we know of, the Anequina ruin is the most well preserved. Moon priests consider it sacred. The riddle thar ties it to the lattice. The rest of us, we see a pile of old rocks. I can only tell you what I experienced. I became one with the temple, with all its memories and past experiences. I connected with my bloodline, with the first Anequina herself. I was attuned. I underwent the process of attunement, the same as Anequina and the moon priests of the temple, the same as Cadwell. I know how to make the moons move, provided we find a working lunar lattice apparatus. Some of the stories about Anequina speak of her teleporting from place to place. I see something about portals, but it does not make much sense. Perhaps when I have had a thousand years to practice, I will be as competent as Gadwell, yes? The ancient structure rises out of the jungle far to the southwest. To think, a place known primarily as a pilgrimage stop and historical curiosity may turn out to be the site of elsewhere's most crucial battle yet.